balloon click. Today we're going to work on a, uh, a swan inside of a heart. This design I was taught by Fred Harshberger early on in my uh, twisting uh, career. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by inflating a 260. I'm going to pinch off about one inch and that's going to be the swan's beak. Just like that. And then let a little air out. I'm going to take this knot up to, I'd say about nine inches for the, nine or ten inches for the uh, swan. I'm going to wrap that in there. And then I'm going to take what's left over here, between here and here. I'm going to split that in half and twist it just like that. Now, the bigger one of those, unless you are absolutely perfect on this, uh, but uh, take the larger one and just open the smaller one and stick the larger one up inside there like that. Then I'm going to take the neck of the swan. I'm going to pull it up and pull it inside here. Now you're going to see this knot here. You want to get rid of it. Okay? So now I've got the swan's neck back. And all you're going to do is take that beak and pull it down. You can kind of pinch the head and let some air into it. And it puts the beak down towards the bottom. Let that rush back in. Pushes it down towards the bottom. Then take it and roll the neck forward like this. And then let it back. And there you have your swan. To put it on a heart, all you do is inflate a uh, 260 red or whatever color heart you want to make. Uh, just as uh, fully inflate it, I'll even stretch it a little bit, and then I'm going to let a little bit of air out. I'm going to burp it. That'll make it soft so that it'll take on the heart shape. I'm going to uh, twist both of the ends together just like that. You can individually twist each bubble and twist them together if you want, but, uh, I've, but you don't want to do this until first we put it in the swan. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this end of the swan, I'm going to open up its tail, stick this right down in there just like that, bring the other end across and twist these together, or twist them separate, you can twist them separately and then twist them together if you find it too difficult to do that. Now the swan will sit just like this, and then this becomes the heart, okay? So I'm going to take the high point here, grabbing it by the bottom, bring that up, Find the center, then bring that down like this. Squeeze the air out of the center, let it back in, and then you can kind of shape the outside like this, and there you have the heart. That's a swan and a heart. Okay, now we're going to place it onto a hat. And all you do to place it on a hat, I'm going to use a, a lilac color for the hat base. We're just going to fully inflate it. I'm going to burp it a little bit. All you want to do is get the head size. You want to twist a bubble on the end, the knotted end, bring it around and there uh, the head fits right in there. Go ahead and twist that. Bring this over the top just like this, making a helmet. And I'm going to twist a bubble here and then squeeze this and go around just like that, and that makes the helmet, okay? You can now take this heart, take the three bubbles, and twist them around one time, just like that. And there you have, actually, I, I don't know why, but I like my swan to end up on the, the right side. So, bring that around, and there you go. You have a swan hat. And place that on your head like that. 